Blessed be the name of the Lord of the Most High, Yah, and Yeshua, his son. Glory to God, the Holy One of Israel. I am glad once again that he has bid unto me that I may be able to say unto you, as I am now speaking totally to the remnant bride of Yeshua. Let us come, let us go, let us be assembled here at this messianic end time table of the Most High. Blessed be the name of Yah and Yeshua. Glory to God at this very precipitous moment, beloved, in the history of mankind. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God, I greet you all around the world. Glory to God, we here at Behold, I come quickly. And he that hath an ear, let him hear. Amen. Let him hear, beloved. What Yeshua and Yah, the Holy One of Israel, is speaking, has been shouting, has been declaring to this wicked and untoward generation. But who hath believed the report of the Lord? I greet you all around the world, remnant bride of Yeshua. Glory to God, the body of Yeshua. Amen. And I also greet. Amen. Glory to God, the 12 tribes. Amen. Also of Israel, particularly the tribe of Judah. Glory to God here also as well in Mystery Babylon, U.S. Amen. So I am very elated uh, that I, uh, I know it's been a month since I've been on. Amen. Glory to God, but the last, this series that I am on, as you can see, uh, my minister, I left you a message, powers that be, glory to God, uh, really messed with my audio, which was very uh, frustrating unto me, uh, but that message in that series is so vitally important that I left it there because I wanted you to fo focus on that, both uh, Jew and Gentile. Amen. Because uh, glory to God, even the things that I am bringing tonight for you, Mystery Babylon US, it is very much connected. Some of your judgments are connected to that call. So even though the call is not directly to you, it's important that you understand the call because there are things that you need to do. Uh, Mystery Babylon U.S., if you are a blood-washed, blood-brought child of the Most High, of Yeshua, of the Holy One of Israel. So that series is extremely important. So as you can see, amen, we're not, uh, amen, I thank the Lord for uh, over the past, what, 15, 25, 20 years, uh, glory to God, to the thousands that I know that have heard this messianic Hebraic message, but you know, here, glory to God, uh, we haven't been on this platform that long, but amen. I'm thankful that thousands have heard, but amen, we are not, a, you know, a mega ministry. So, uh, you know, that goes to prove as I am bringing that series, uh, that it is the truth because there are many ministries uh, that speak on this topic and i don't see uh anything happening with their video so that is the confirmation to you huh, that it's the truth the whole truth and 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 and, 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 and let just let me say i'm just starting i'm just starting with it and nothing but the truth so truth carries weight whether it's one or one thousand so that's what uh you know it's showing so I'm having to, I'm going to have to develop things as well to get that message out as some of the other end time watchmen now have to do, which is uh, very dismaying to me, amen, being a baby boomer. But because of the direness uh, now I'm coming on, uh, this is a very urgent uh, message. So I had to preempt that series and I wanted everyone to, and that's, I'm very elated because I did wait. I basically got three times the amount of listens that I normally do. So that is extremely important. 
And uh, if you are a, uh, a American, I'm having to uh, go into some codes and develop new codes. You really need to get that message uh, and share it with all of your friends and loved ones because the time is at hand. The time is at hand, beloved. So I hope uh, this message tonight, too far, I am very happy to see, amen, blessed be the name of the Lord, that you do love and you listen to my Hebraic timeline messages, amen. So that's very good because, uh, as you well know, uh, my prophecy and declarations on what Yah has shown me for the upcoming new timeline, Hebraic change, uh, and that which I have been decreeing and declaring to be started in the fall. Well, beloved, I'm on tonight because things have sped up tremendously. Tremendously since Mama was on last time. And why is that? Why is that, beloved? Why is it that things are just spiraling down for you, Mystery Babylon? Because the church still is comatose, still not woke. And even those that are awake, they still are ignorant. And no one is repenting. And your sins have found you out. Your sins, have, as I have said unto you, Mr. Babylon, have reached heaven. So the Lord was really pressing upon my heart because when I started this Mystery Babylon series, I knew it needed to be four parts, but then it got preempted with all those other messages. And by the way, there have been a ton more Hebrew Maza wrote signs. And I was at, that's another thing that's happened over the last 30 days, absolutely floored by a whole nother set of Hebrew Maserot signs that I didn't even know that existed. And so I'm going to give kudos to that ministry, glory to God, that is uh, tracking those. And I need to bring those. And all of that is tying in, beloved, to what's going on right now. See, those are the great signs. Now, I am very pleased, amen, that you are tracking the Hebrew Maserot signs because they are indeed indicative of this uh hebraic timeline that is coming to pass right now but it they tell so much more so i really uh you know i'm just we're, we're just really in a hard court press right now boy that's where it is and it's really not going to get any better but the good thing blessed be the name of yah for the beloved blood walks hey blood ball remnant bride of Yeshua, glory to God, that's ready, amen, yes, Yeshua is coming, but what I haven't been able to bring to you, beloved, which the Laodicean Western Church, their timeline is totally off because of what I started to bring in my Hebrew Imah call, totally off, there are four raptures, and not just one. And the first one is soon to occur. And it's not the one that you think it is. Amen. It's not. So there, it's so much going on, beloved. But uh, it will behoove everyone. Uh, Gentile as well to uh, listen to that message. And you are. And as I said, because they messed with the audio, that valid that's the that's the validation of the message. Because, you know, as you can see, glory to God, the Lord as a Noah prophet, I have always been sent to a remnant, just like Noah. Noah preached for 120 years and only not even 10 people. After a hundred and not even one person a year. Noah, you 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 know you a bad mama devil. You better than I. Not even one person a year received his warning or his word. You know, so I always give the prophet Noah his kudos, glory to God. So I am called in that vein. Amen. Stood flat footed, but I am very happy. Praise the Lord. After 20 some years, amen, thousands have heard between here and 
blog talk radio and no telling how many have heard when we were on internet our internet radio uh, from still on there many, many years. And now we're on all these other platforms and we went on internet television as well. That's when the Lord, when the timeline changed, see beloved, the time, that's when I, that's when the Lord impressed upon me to come here because when Corona came out, that was a Hebraic timeline change that your Laodicean era pastors were just ignorant to inform you the body of Yeshua. And he knew that I knew. And so that's why if you will look at the chronological order of my messages and everything has come to pass. Everything has come to pass. And, you know, as I said, Mashiach, our Lord Yeshua, you, you know, and there's Jesus. He's not he's not pleased. He's not happy. This earth is sitting in great darkness. And he's very displeased that his body is still woke when there are many watchmen as myself. Although not a plethora, but still enough for you to have responded, America, Mystery Babylon, U.S., and even the body of Yeshua, who he has a railing accusation also against you at the Western Church at this time. And it will fall upon the heads, the onus upon the heads of the Laodicean pastors, you know. Uh, you know, I would be quaking in my boots if I were you. You were a pastor here in Mystery Babylon, U.S., and you have never warned your flock. See, that's why the word says, don't desire to be many teachers. Because uh, your judgment, that's why I preach and teach so long, glory to God. That's why when I sit here, I'm not here for form or fashion. When I come, I'm serving it, I'm bringing it, and I'm bringing it up as the prime rib. That's why the word says, do not desire to be many teachers, because why you will be held in greater accountability. But yet the majority of the Laodicean, I just, you know, I don't even know if I would even put you in the category of pastor. The Lord saying some of you, many are ravenous wolves, have not warned your sheep. And you will be held accountable because now it's about to come down the pipe. See, now many things are too late. That's another reason, you know, it's, it's, it's so much coming at us at this time. But I did want to give time. I was tracking uh, that last message, you know, my email call, because that really is uh, this. And that is my, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the last two major big assignments here that I have to complete. And of course, I'm still tracking the Maserat signs for you. But it's very sad where we are. So the Lord is impressing upon me because he, and we have been praying. That's the other thing. And he, the Lord has indeed answered every single prayer that we have prayed for the extension of time. And what has been done with it by this Laodicean era church here in Mystery Babylon, U.S. and the West, absolutely nothing. Nada, zero, zero, zilch, rien, nothing. Nothing has been done with it. You're, it's so sad. You're literally, and let me tell you, your shepherds are going to be held accountable for you. This is why the Lord said, beloved, in the end, do not be deceived. And the majority of you are. And this is the sad thing, just like in Noah's day. And, you know, uh, you know, we're out in the fields and, you know, I can't tell you how many people there, they're, you know, they're out in the fields where the Lord said they're coming to uh, the, the Lord every day. They are understanding everything that I'm saying, but, but to the body of Yeshua, so many, so many, a brick wall. Why? Because of the false doctrine or lack thereof, of it. And incorrect of the end time doctrine, which must be taught Hebraically and now from a Hebrew Ema perspective, because those scriptures are now also into play being fulfilled. So there's a lot going on right now, beloved. There is a lot. And as I said the last time, who knows if I'll be able to finish it, but the fact that I have come forward. And made a declaration in each of these areas 
Glory to God. I have at least started and fulfilled those words going out or th that these warnings unto you. But it's very important, uh, glory to God, that you understand that we're in a dire moment. So that is why. So with that being said, there's more I can say about that. Uh, beloved, I don't know if you all listen to my message, America, you are the pot calling the kettle black. OK, and that wasn't a very long ago. I did a two part on that. This is only going to be one part. Well, here we are again. One more again. Here's my again. Here you are again. Mystery Babylon U.S. And you know what? You are about to find out, Mystery Babylon U.S. Not right at this moment, but soon and very soon. There were some other moments that happened in the 30 days. But it was everything that's just flying. It was happening almost every other day. Things were changing. If you are unaware of all of these things that have gone in the 30 days, that will validate that you are asleep. So even if I had come on one day, the next day it had changed. Even what I'm bringing tonight. But this is so dire. Even if it changes, it would be a good it, either way. It could be horrific. And we are praying. Everyone needs to be praying tonight for tomorrow because here you are again. The word says the hammer of the whole, whole earth being a bully again. To the nations of the earth uh, again. That's why uh, the Lord called me being from the baby boom, boomer generation. Uh, most of you in this uh, millennial generation, you know, are totally unaware of history. We were at this moment. We were at this precipice. In the history of man in America, we were at this moment before when I was a child, this Bay of, Bay of Pigs moment, the threatening of nuclear war. So I hope that you know last week, so I'm going to give an end time update before I get into the scriptures. So you are very close, Mystery Babylon US. You, you are already in your judgments, but you're very close to the beginning of what I call your woodshed judgment. This is what mama's been telling you. Because you will not awake when Yah, he's going to smack you. And so this is, I've been, mama been telling you, next time, 9-11, you know, that was horrific, but that's nothing in comparison to what Yah is going to do, and it's going to be everybody this time. Young, old, babies, everybody, everybody. Very sad. And I will give kudos to one America mega pastor who had the guts. And I and I and I and I will mention him because 25 years ago, he's been on the he's been on the battlefield a long time. He had the guts to tell America last week that her judgment is coming and it cannot be changed. And he said destruction. And his name, and 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 I can validate him because when I first got saved 25 years ago, God used five pastors. Of course, I didn't know at that time. I call it. I didn't even know what it was. Uh, you know that He was calling me to the ministry and even in the apostolic. But I was, you know, so uh, ravenous, uh, hung, uh, the hunger of the Word of God. He used five preachers to give me the sincere milk. That's just how much I was devouring. Uh, the word that's 25 years ago. And this man of God was one of them. His name is Pastor John MacArthur. And he did serve up the sincere milk of the word. Amen. Because Yah selected them himself for me. So I give kudos to you, uh, Pastor John MacArthur, for having the fortitude and the strength to tell the American people the truth. And I don't, I didn't even get to see all of it, but I am, I am showing them with the word. That's what I'm charged to. The Lord has prepared me for this for 25 years. You see, uh, Mr. Babylon US, the Lord showed me who you were 25 years ago. I said, Lord, they can't receive that. Look and look at it. And now it's 25 years later. And the church in the world, so you know, it, it is what it is now. And I've waited to the last minute, you know, to the, but I, you know, it was a strong, strong unction. 
And so many things have to be done during the day. Yeah, you better come on tonight because uh, you're about to start your judgments. You're about to get your butt with. Because the Lord says, I was looking for a man. And that's why I give kudos to Pastor John McCarthy because he told you the truth, which is what mama been telling you. Your sins have reached heaven, so it cannot be stopped. The only thing your prayers will do can lessen it and also protection for you, your family, and your friends. That's what, that's what, glory to God, and, and as uh, there have been uh, several times I have done a Macedonian call to the full age bride and hardly no one could answer those messages. And so that has validated to me the whole time the spiritual age of the listeners here, that that should have been very high. But the Lord said, I was looking for a man that would stand in the gap and make up the hedge. He said, I found none. So it is what it is. So that's why I give kudos to Pastor John MacArthur, glory to God, for having the guts of being a mega pastor to tell the people the truth. So I just want you to know, Pastor John MacArthur, there is no blood that's going to be required on your hands. And as far as I know, uh, you're the only one that I see uh, the TV mega, mega pastors that have has had the guts to uh, tell the American people that. In his head, he was looking very sad and looking down. But now I'm coming. Mama coming. Apostle Mama, she coming. I'm coming with the word. But before I do that, we're tonight at a Bay of Pigs moment. So you're being a bully again, just like I warned you this past summer that we were doing with Mother Bear, the king of the, the king of the north, Bruce. Another Bay of Pig moments now with a different country. What you don't understand, these two nations are aligned in the end time. They're in the book of Revelation. And they will be the two nations that Yah is going to use to execute a great judgment on you, Mystery Babylon, U.S. Very sad. So here we are one more again at a Bay of Pigs moment. And just like with Mother Ruth, a Mother Bear, King of the North, now the shoe was on the other foot and you did not comply. And they did when they were doing that to us way back in the 60s. They had a change of heart. Did you know your pride? Oh, thou most proud. But the Lord dropped in my spirit tonight to say unto you before I even get started with the word. Hey, Robo, see you Yes, Lord. Mystery Babylon U.S. In addition to being again at another Bay of Pigs moment, you are also right now at the moment, you're at a Samson moment with Delilah. And Delilah has already cut your hair. But you don't know it. But you about to find out. Yeah, if you don't consider your ways and back up your judgments, that's why I'm on now. That's why we've been praying. Could be starting sooner rather than later. As I said, fulfillment of the end time scriptures, beloved, will always be done on during the Holy One of Israel's Yah's Holy Moedim season, feast season. And the fall feasts are coming up. And then we asked the Lord until that time because he's been threatening to all the way through the spring feast. And we keep on asking, okay, Lord, can we have till the end of August? We don't know if we're going to get that now. Every single one, every single timeline, he has extended it. But this time things are greatly escalating. And so I just want you to hear just a small clip because it's very sad here in Mystery Babylon U.S. You are not hearing the truth. So I just want you to hear, this is another uh, uh, news ministry right here. 
And I'm just going to just play a little bit of it. And I will, I will pin her to in the description. Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's Dina Kalma here. And for today's news, I do have some headlines I'd like to share with you. As I'm sure most of you are aware, Nancy Pelosi has landed in Taiwan. And of course, China has responded to her visit, stating this is a serious violation of the One China Principle. It has severe impact on the political foundation of China-U.S. relations and seriously infringes upon China's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The Chinese Foreign Ministry went on to state that it undermines peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and sends a seriously wrong signal to the separatist forces for Taiwan independence, also adding not to go further down the wrong and dangerous path. China firmly opposes and sternly condemns this and has made seriously strong protests to the United States. It goes on further to report that Beijing earlier warned that the United States would pay the price if Pelosi visits Taiwan, while the Chinese foreign minister on Tuesday said that U.S. politicians who play with fire on the Taiwan issue will come to no good end. Moscow also weighed in and accused the U.S. of destabilizing the world by allowing Pelosi to visit Taiwan. And amid the now it's much more than that. That was a mouthful right there. I said that was a mouthful right there. So you're not getting what's really going on, Mystery Babylon US. You're not getting it at all. So yes, and I'm going to bring it to you with the scriptures. You, yes, Mystery Babylon, all through the years, you have been a bully. But then, back then, you were standing for righteousness. You no longer are. You're wicked now. You kicked Yah out. And you were totally following Hasatan, Satan. And these uh, two, even though already God, God is going to be, the, the Holy One of Israel is going to be using them as your instrument of correction. And they are accusing you right now of destabilizing the whole earth. What? And wanting to start World War III. That's what they're saying. Destabilizing the whole world. Going all the way around the world. Thinking, and uh, glory to God, that you can poke your nose into everyone's business. And see, you're, you're totally unaware. This is just very sad with the Laodicean Western pastors. So many prophetic words that have gone forth to you from end time watchmen. And I'm just wondering, this one was, uh, I am charged to keep the words of the saints. I don't even remember who they are. It's just a supernatural thing. Uh, and Yah just sends me. He just sends them to me. Because I am called as a recorder and also to make the declarations that he gives, has given me to make and those things to track. But this is one. And the Lord also wanted me to alert you tonight uh, when I came on here at the beginning of the timeline he brain changed, the church uh, age was, re was really ending then. The two years, the people are not understanding the beginning of sorrow. So it's about to change now. So as I said, by this fall, the tribulation period is going to be kicking off. And it could be starting earlier because the Lord was looking for a man that would stand in the gap and make up the hedge. But he said he hadn't found him because his body here in Western society is comatose. You, you now won't. So it's at the point now, it's too late, just sleep on. And I'm I'm so thankful. Pastor John MacArthur said the truth. And he said, and he said exactly what I've been telling you. And you can't be prayed away. The only thing your prayers are for is for your savior of your household. And maybe to lessen the judgment where you live. And he told you the truth. He's the only one I've heard of the mega pastors that has told you the truth. So here you just hear, heard, that just like we were at this moment before when I was, that's why I'm a baby woman, 1967, and Mother Bear, she backed down. So here is the second time. Mother Bear said the same thing. Look, don't bring your nuclear weapons on our border because that's threatening our national security. Do you think we would have put up with that 
on the Mexico border, but yet that's what we did to them. And I'm telling you, they have good patience, but I'm telling you, uh, this dragon country, they're not going to have the patience that Mother Bear has. I'm warning you. Mm -mm. No, they're not. See, first time, did you hear what they said? And it has escalated past that. I just got another update. Let me pull it up. I've already, see, I've already sent it to, to, to my body. Here is another news update. Stating that Pelosi plane cannot take off. So now the Chinese tonight have encircled Taiwan and says it's a no-fly zone. And they are going to do. So let me just read it. China's military exercises block the air and sea around Taiwan. China's central television announced. See, they got this on national TV. While you here in La La Land, Mystery Babylon US, you, that's why you about to get caught. Announced the start of military exercises in these areas around Taiwan. The maneuvers demonstrate the dissatisfaction of the Chinese ruling party with the actions of the United States, in particularly with Pelosi's statement on democracy in Taiwan. And you could go on and read that these are things that are just in the news. This, these are things just in the news. You can just pull it up. So we are at a very, this is a very serious matter. So one, one more again. Why? Because see, now you wicked. And you want to bring in your new order. And both of them are saying that you're seeking to destabilize. Did you hear what, is that, what she did? The whole earth. The whole, what does that mean? Trying to start World War III. And really, it's already begun, but really kick it off before the time. So why are you doing that? Because of your pride, because of your arrogance, because of your bullying. So I'm about to bring the scripture. So the Lord wanted me to bring this update before I get into the word, because it's manifest. It got it goes together. It corroborates the word to show you who you are. See, this is what the guts that the Laodicea and where wolf pastors of Mystery Babylon U.S. are not telling the body. So that you could be repenting for the wickedness sins of what your nation is doing. Which I have done for many years. And I'm still standing in the gap while we're still here. But the Lord is coming. So he that has an ear, I can say more than that, but the Lord wants you to know, Mystery Babylon U.S., you are at a the Bay of Pigs moment. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And the other thing, are you aware that right here, and you call in the good old ain't good no more, U.S. of A, that the state of New York aired television ads preparing the people for nuclear war, nuclear bombs in New York City? And what to do. And that aired, that was a week ago. That's right. Then after that, they, they did another television ad telling them how to do a bug out bag. And there are other ministries that responded to that saying how that is such a bad idea and such a large it, it is because as I told you, that's I came on here two years ago with my Joseph message. Then was the time to prepare. If you didn't do it, it's too late now. I hope you can see that. Yeah, everything's already started to skyrocket. It was then. It was then you were supposed to have prepared. So just like then, with everything that's going on, the shortages, uh, the blockages with uh, the shipment, cargoes, all, all that's on purpose. So it's too late for that. So I hope that you know that by the time here in Wicked Mystery Babylon, when they air something, it's really dying. Because most of your information that you need, uh, they don't even air it. So if they're airing it, that's why I, that's why he had, I'm on here tonight for an urgency. 
Because I'm telling you, the Dragon Country, they not playing. They don't have as much uh, sympathy and feelings like the Mother Bear. He's a very just. He's just. I told you. So it's even more just than, uh, than the leaders here in Mystery Babylon at this hour. But not so of the Dragon Nation. So now they got Pelosi on lockdown. Yeah, let's just go. And I think you understand that. I think you understand that terminology. So they're not playing. So you at a Bay of Pit moment that you initiated yourself again. Wicked, Mr. Babylon US. So it's time. There are actually, there's so many scriptures, but there were four chapters the Lord wanted me to teach and to show you, Mr. Babylon, who you are before your major judgments begin. So I'm on here tonight because if we don't get any more grace, they could start tomorrow because of your insolence, because of your arrogance, because of your pride, and because you are not getting that those messages to the people and understanding what it is that you are in fact doing Mystery Babylon US to destabilize the whole earth as they are accusing rightfully so. So that's why the Lord has written many chapters about you in the Bible that your Laodicea and Aaron pastors never wanted to tell you. Now I already did one. Tonight I'm going to be doing the chapter in Isaiah 47 and there are three more chapters that the Lord gave to me and it's plenty more than that but these are the ones that he has had me uh, to study throughout the years showing you who you are and some of the reasons for your judgment so tonight is Isaiah 47 in case we don't get more time because your judgments are about to kick off Yes, we are at a Bay of Pig, Pigs moment, which is why New York City ran a, yeah, he, they didn't say it might happen. They said, yeah, you got to Google that if you haven't seen that New York City ad. Yep, yeah, well, the, 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 the what they say, the, 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 the unmentionable, the unthinkable has happened. Yes, a nuclear bomb has fallen. So this is what you need to know. They were just quite matter of fact. So see, they're planning for that. And even the powers that be know that, that they see that's some of your coming judgment. So this is very important. The Lord want me to put you back in remembrance, Mr. Babylon US, of the, the, the prophets, the great prophets that the Lord sent here to America way ahead of their time in the early 90s. When I first got saved, as soon as I got saved, the Lord just, I started feeding me prime rib of the end time. And he started me with those two prophets. And so, uh, and and I have chronicled them. In fact, I believe they could be the very, if they're not the first message anyway, they're within the first messages. So you need to go all the way back. Or either go to my playlist on Mystery Babylon USA or just go to the beginning of my videos. And you just scroll. It's on the first page. Will be those and their warnings. Because what they prophesied, beloved, it is lined up to the T right now for tomorrow. They prophesied about everything. About It's all lined up, beloved. It's all lined up. And they said, if you did not repent, Mystery Babylon US, then this is what is going to happen. You just spoke of them, and there are other prophets that have spoken about uh, the naval, the aircraft carriers. They prophesied about the very one that's in the Taiwan Strait right now and how it would be destroyed. See, they don't want to test. See, these are, and this is why the Lord is just, you know, he's throwing his hands up with the, the Mystery Babylon Western Church. He, he said, you know, you just, you know, you comatose. Because he said, I have sent 
We are watchmen, servants, of course, the prophets. And these words should have been going forth at least from the branches of Zion. And now it's at the door. So that's why I'm here See, it's midnight. See, here it is again. We're in a midnight situation. That's why I'm coming. I came on, what, what, what was it, 1 a.m.? It's midnight. And it, he just brought in my spirit this week about Rome and about Nero. That there was an old expression that we used to learn that Nero fiddled by, while Rome burned. And that's pretty much the mindset of the church right now. You're just fiddling. And yes, tomorrow you could burn. And it is coming. And parts of the nation are already burning. See, the judgment's in the land. I hope that you understand of that fire that is burning in California. They said that if this is very unusual. they never seen one this size nor magnitude. See, your judgments have begun, Mystery Babylon U.S. It's in the land. Why? Because there is no repentance. So it is what it is. But you better go back and study very well the prophecies of those two prophets, Judah and Dimitri and Henry Groover, because their prophecies are, are they're, they're being fulfilled right now. Right now. They named the uh, Mother Bear Country. They named the Dragon Country. All that. And we're talking about we're talking about that's early 90s, late 80s. Do you see how long you have had to repent? Mystery of Babylon, and you did not. So that's why, that's why kudos to you, Pastor John and Arthur. See, it's done now. And that's another reason why I don't come on as often because, glory to God. It's the judgments. We're giving you the sequence at this time of the judgments that are coming. But I must complete my other series. But I will give you the Hebrew Maserot signs because they are absolutely, absolutely will blow your mind. As I said, the Hebrew Maserot signs, they are the greatest signs. If you don't get down on your knees, America, and Cry out. They show you that there is a God that sits outside of time. And that he certainly deals in the affairs of men. And nations. And government. And it's going down right now because he sent his holy prophets to this nation. And their words are coming to pass to the chief. But because the Laodicean comatose western church does not walk in the spirit they primarily did not regard them although here lately i am hearing their name from multiple other but see that was given to me 30 years ago yeah, i've been preaching that for 30 years because that's what y'all already got see at you, you know y'all commits oracles into the hands of his servants so i've been extolling those a very long time but he showed me, now it's time for me to come forth with what he has shown me about showing you who, where you are in the Bible, Mystery Babylon U.S., because now it's coming to pass. It's coming down the pipe. And it's your own fault. It's your own fault because of your pride. So with that being said, let's go right into the word. So I want everyone to pray before I get right into the word that we are not foolish and try to take off tomorrow. Because as you can see here from that newscast, and I'm going to pin it, they told, they told us don't come there. But you did it anyway. And Lord is saying to you, Mr. Beverly U.S., you are Samson that has allowed Delilah to cut your hair. So he said, you're going to have a repercussion. So we're going we, we gonna to put you on lockdown. Now you can get up in that plane if you want to. You, you, and you're going to see the start of World War III tomorrow. So I want everybody to pray. That's why I'm on here tonight. Because there is prophecy that still needs to be fulfilled 
for us. And I said, Lord, how can we finish our assignment and get things with that going on? So I'm asking, Lord, and yes, we are the Lord's elect. So be praying that we do get, but he, but they are the red dragon country is definitely showing you that they mean business. And yes, history is repeating itself, but now this time, you did not extend the courtesies that they did. And you are no longer righteous. So he that hath an ear, let him hear. But my timeline is right on for what I have been prophesying and predicting to you for this fall, for the kickoff, for it. the timeline change is changing. It could change early. It could change before the fall gets here because of your wickedness. Mystery Babylon US. So now let's go into the word. And we will be reading from the Holy Book. I'll be teaching and bringing it from the Holy Book of Isaiah, chapter 47. This chapter is talking all indeed about you, Mystery Babylon US. And as I said, the Lord get, has given me four chapters. I've already done one in the first call. So tonight is Isaiah 47, and it reads thus. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. Uh, does that sound like you winning a battle? I'm going to say, does that sound like, yeah. See, what you don't know, Mr. Babylon, see, you so Akuna Matata. You don't understand that all of your military victories and might through the years, you don't understand that the Holy One of Israel was standing by your side because you were standing by him with the word. Even though there were a lot of things that you did still had sins, particularly against us, but you were still upholding the word. So right at the onset of the beginning of this chapter, you see that Yah is decreeing a judgment upon you. And it's not victorious. He said, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. See, that was when you were first birthed, Mystery Babylon, U.S. See, you were pretty much, you don't even know it, but you were, you were a young country. That was during the time of World War uh, II and all of that. Then you were called young and delicate. But see, you are no longer that. You have not been following. What Yah has been saying, he said, now you are full blown in your in your sins. You revel now in your sin. You stick it in the nose and in the face of Yah. So you're no longer tender and delicate. You wallow in your whoredoms. Let's go on to verse two. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. See? There it is right there. That confirms what the Lord said to say to you tonight. You in a Samson and Delilah moment. Uncover. Your locks have been cut. Hey! And you don't know it. Although the powers of be do. Because they want your demise. And you don't even know it. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. I told you whoredom. See, you've been doing whoredom. You whoredom. You've been, you've been whoring around for decades. So the Lord's getting ready to make you bear. And he uses a, another nation. These nations are in the Bible that the Most High is going to use to make your leg, to uncover you, Mystery Babylon US. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, 
pass over the river. Look at the flooding that's going on right now in Kentucky. Did you see that last night? The whole city is under war. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Didn't I tell you? Now we're on verse three. See, what you don't understand, is, I, I feel so sad for you, Mystery Babylon U.S. But I, you know, our time here is just about up. Because Yah is coming back for, for us. If you don't understand what I mean by that, you better listen to my last email call. What you don't understand, there are so many principles, spiritual principles, that the body of Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, should have taught to you, the Gentiles here in Mystery Babylon, U.S. But it wasn't taught to you. So that's why you're, it's hard for you to grasp the judgments and things because the spiritual principle, yes, Lord, the spiritual principles upon which Yah and Yeshua is judging you has not been taught unto you. But yet, notice, these are the very things that Yah is stating to you. So all of your false gods, glory to God, that's whoredom. Sleep, he considers that like sleeping around. Notice. That's what he's saying about you here. And it's like I said, it's a whole pile of sin. But you are a whore now. So you've broken covenant with the most high. And you still think you in covenant, but you're not. So notice now we're in verse three. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. So he get ready. That's why I said he's going to God. See, that's what happened to Samson. See, he didn't know. See, that's why, see, it wasn't taught to you. That, see, that's why, and you know, I'm here as an apostle. Apostles, we're called, I'm laying the foundation. And he said, explaining to you precept upon precept, line upon line, so that you can get a good understanding about what's coming. Because, see, Mama had already told you. For the length of time I've been here, but for 25 years, I've been telling you, Mr. Babylon, don't say why, Yah, why? Don't say why God is God. He's the Holy One of Israel. He's Jehovah Sikhanu. He's a righteous God. All these sins, all, all of this filthiness. I started here showing you with the Ten Commandments. And how you have transgressed his law. And I, I said, you think you are a kuna matata? You are the kuna matata. You think that you can go against Yah's law and not receive a repercussion? But see, the Lord Yah, he's long-suffering. Hey! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But then there comes a day. Hey! And that day is now. But there is a come up where he's going to call in the chips on all your doing. And you're going to be recompensed all the dirt that you have done. Cause Why? Because you have not repented. So this onus part is on the head of your Western Laodicean, I don't even want to call them churches. Used to be branches of Zion. Because they were the ones to lead you. And that's when the Lord started raising us up. We are the end time watchmen that have been prepared for this season. My whole ministry has been end time. That and deliverance. For 25 years. So that's why I'm taking this time to explain to you these principles. So that you can understand why what's coming is coming. So um, number one, America, you must understand that you are in whoredom. Now this is corroborate. You can exegete this with other scriptures, particularly the one in Hosea that states that you are backslidden as a backslidden heifer. That's right. The Lord calls you a heifer. So you a whole. You a hoe. You a whole nation. You're not in covenant. You broke your covenant. 
He put me on here two years ago because then maybe it could have been amended when you sought to go against Yah's law and you changed his law. So for all these things and more, and then you just added unto, and see the church still did not address it. Maybe if the church, you know, had been able to rally the body of Yeshua here all those years, you know, this would be a different picture at this time. But right now, it's set. So I am here as a messenger to one more again show you why. And Mama been telling you about your book with it. But I guarantee you, you're going to repent. See, it would have been better for you to have repented. Would have been better. But the Lord, it has to be very severe. And when that, you're going to come then, but it, it's, it can't be stopped then. It's just going to continue. Because then, and now the judgment will be set. So I'm showing you with the word who you are, which should have been shown to you for a long time. So let, uh, let's go down to verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yay! Hey! Thy shame! Hey! Yes, Lord! Shall be seen. So this judgment going to be seen around the world. I will. See, I told you. There comes a come up and stay. He said, I will. Yeah. I will take vengeance. See, you don't know the Ten Commandments. The word says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Oh, my Lord. I will let you just think on that. Because now he putting it, y'all putting it to your face. Mystery Babylon, you ain't. As for our Redeemer, the Lord, that's all capitalized, Yah. Lord of hosts is his name. Adonai Sebedal, the Holy One, which I say all the time, glory to God. See, you didn't know, glory to God, you don't even know what God you were serving. See, he's the Holy One of Israel. That's very different. Yes, Lord. That's very different. Then the generic G-O-D God that your sugar candy party, uh, powder puff candy coated Laodicea and Arrow Wolf pastors the way they preach and telling you that God, God the, the generic God is all of that, that. That's not the Holy One of Israel. They don't really know him. He, they're telling you of another God. So that's why he's spelling it out to you. That's why, glory to God. See, the Lord mocked. He marked me and branded me with his name from the very beginning. And he has many names in the Hebrew. Of which most of you in here in Mr. Babylon, you don't know. So he's letting you know right here that he is the holy one. Not the man upstairs in your buddy. He's the holy one of Israel. That's his name. And so to understand that he is the God of covenant, of covenant, Mr. Babylon US, which you have broken. So you in a Samson and Delilah moment tonight. And we're going to be praying. We're going to see what tomorrow brings. But either way, your judgment is being expedited as I come forth tonight to continue to make your declaration very serious now. Your time is very limited. And this is what the Lord of hosts is saying unto you, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness. That's another judgment that's coming. See, I haven't told you about all the judgment, daughter of the Chaldean. So your light's going to be going out. So I'm going to just bring it now. Daughter of the Chaldean. For thou shalt no more be called the lady of the kingdom. Now, this is exegeted with another chapter that I'm going to be bringing that the Lord has said to show them who they are. And it is in the book of Revelation. So that coin phrase there is referring to you, Mystery Babylon U.S. 
you called yourself the lady of the kingdom. You even, you even did blasphemy and say, I am. That's where the comatose church is right now. Oh, that'll never happen to us. That was when you were righteous. You are no longer that. Let's go now. We're down to verse 6 now. I was wroth with my people. That's us, the Hebrews, Israelites. I have polluted mine inheritance. That was us. As when he corrected us and sent us here in slavery. That's talking about us. So I'm pointing that out even though that is not the message. But see, this is why all of your theology is all off. And your timeline. And your eschatology. <laughs> so that's referring to us. So you need to go and listen to, to the part one of that message. And giving them, see, it's talking about us. Giving them who us. The Hebrew, we are the tribe of Judah into thine hand. Talking about you, Mystery Babylon, when he brought us here in the slave ship. And this is this. See, I told you, I already, you better listen to that message. Because a lot of your judgments are coming because of us. Because let me tell you, you knew that we were the royal tribe of Judah when you went to pick us up in Africa. I'm bringing it. See, I told you, your judgments are tied in with us. They not only because of us see the other things you have done, but a great portion of them are. And here, see, the Lord is bringing it up again. But first, he started with your nakedness, your whoredom. Do you know what they are? All your false gods, your God of money, your God of sports, your God of entertainment, your God of many idols. And I could go add, you know, witchcraft. Satanism, I named about seven right there. And the bull and the bears, the stock market, that's seven false gods right there. He calls that hoarder. Have you lived to see an early pastors ever talk to you about them? Have they put them before your face? That's your hoarder. Your mini hoarder. Now he's putting it up again. It's very serious what you did unto us. And he's putting it up again. See, glory to God. And see, there's a come up and step. So the Lord is returning for us. Let's go on. He said, and he, and he gave them, that's us, into thine hand. And so he wanted to see what you were going to do. He said, and then he said, thou didst show them no mercy. Which is why, that's what's going to be coming in my next part. Should, should I have time to get to it? I'm going to show you. Even my own people, you don't even know what, what was done to us. And I know show sure enough, you in America don't, don't know. This generation don't know. But guess what? Yeah, no. And he remembered. And he kept track. And he kept all the tasks. And he said, you did not show us no mercy, even right now. Upon the ancient Hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke? He's talking about our 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 elderly. And I the glory to God, this branch of Zion serves them. And you are raping them. I serve them every Saturday, every weekend, taking them food. They barely don't have anything to eat while you are sending billions and trillions of dollars overseas and you won't even give your own people and the elderly uh, a card or a, a food stipend. They don't even know even how to fill out all those many paperwork and computer stuff. They don't even know how to do that. So the Lord is keeping tabs of that. You know why? See, this is, see the Bible is a Hebrew book. And in our culture, in the Hebraic culture, the elderly are treated with great respect for those of you that have never lived overseas. Unlike here in wicked Mr. Babylon, U.S. And the Lord is letting you know right here, Mr. Babylon. See, there's a whole lot of sin. Glory to God. Uh, he kept having that. And that is very grievous unto him. Because in the culture, you should be doing just the opposite. They have paid their dues. You should be making things light for them. But in the in the you. You rape them. Even your system of health care for the elderly. You make them. Let me tell you, when I first, I didn't even know about that until the Lord started making me serve that population. Didn't even know. And when I found out that this system here makes the elderly.
supposedly give up their own what they have worked for their whole life just for at the time when they may need to go into a senior facility then they got to give up their house that they've worked their whole life so in essence you reduce them to zero then they don't work their whole life for nothing the lord's going to require it of you mr babylon u.s and i'm talking about soon and very soon for that wickedness and more for one or for two for three or for four your judgment your judgment yes it's at the door it's at the door it's at the door yes lord for one for two for three and for four and it shall be more it shall be more it shall be more <laughs> so great our people have suffered so much but the lord wants you to know He's keeping tab. And it's going to be your turn now. You about to take your turn. Let's go on now to verse 7. This is what you said, O thou most proud. And thou said, I shall be a lady forever. Now this exact scripture is also exegeted in the two other chapters in the book of Revelation. So that means it's confirmed. So as I said, it is a Hebrew book, so it's confirmed. So you say, and, and that's and so what is this saying? This is your favorite expression, mystery babbling. Oh, that could never happen here. The Lord is letting you know it's gonna happen here. And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever. So thou didst not lay what these things. To thy heart. What things? The things that I just, glory to God, that brought me to tears. Expounded upon in the previous verse. But yes, even though yes, we the Hebrew Israelites, glory to God, disobeyed God, the Lord was still, but yet we are the people of the covenant and the people of the book and the people of the law unto whom the oracles were committed unto. So the Lord was looking to see, he said, if you were going to show us mercy. And he said, you didn't. And, and I, I hope you know you're going to reap what you sow. And then he went on to say, and you are raping the elders. Raping them. So now, so, so I'm explaining, I'm hooking it up for you. Because you sure enough don't have a good understanding. And it's about to say, just like what mama said two years ago. Now it's about to smack you in the face. He said, come forth tonight. I have supernatural strength. And bring it. Did not, so what did he say? We on verse seven. And thou said, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou did not lay these things to thy heart. Neither didst thou remember the latter end of it. So you're not remembering the prophecy, the warning, the judgment. What did, Lord, what did the Lord say I'm going to do to you? He said the same thing to us. We had an opportunity to turn. But now we got it right. Now Isaiah 47, 8. Therefore, hear now this. So basically, the Lord said, uh, let me just take it in your British culture so you understand. This is, let's take it all the way back. So with that very first, and myself being a linguist, so that you can understand here in Mr. Babylon U.S. So now the Lord is saying, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Like when the judge walk in the court, he is the righteous judge. He is Jehovah's sick canoe, and he is sitting on his throne, and he's about to judge you, Mr. Babylon U.S. See, I'm no longer warning. That's why I know, glory to God. No reason to be coming on as much. He said, now just tell them, show them why. What's about to go down. Therefore, hear now this. Just like they used to say on the ship. And they cease to still say in the court. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The honorable judge, let me just put it in Yasha. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The honorable judge, the righteous judge, Jehovah Sikhanu. Everybody stay. Is about to make his declaration. And it's going to be known, very well known to you, Mr. Babylon U.S. Thou that are given to pleasures. That's you. Travis 
see your pet your Laodicean passes say this chapter is talking about you this you Babylon US you are given over to pleasure you are the selfie generation that's what you know every week the Lord said he said all you want to do is party <laughs> he said you're the party generation you are given to pleasure that dwelleth carelessly that says that this is about the second or third time he's saying this expression and he's considering it and i'm gonna break it down right here for you that says in thine heart i am so you are mocking the most high there you are mocking the holy one of israel saying why because you were saying i am he is i am he is the tetragrammaton which means i am I am that I am the Holy One of Israel. But yet you, Mr. Babylon, say that you are I am. You have the audacity. That's why this is the second or third time now he's stating this. And it's also in the other chapter. So this is another reason for your judgment. So another reason for your judgment coming is that you are equating yourself. You are using terminology. That's why it's good to get a good understanding, especially for with the linguists that can break it down. You are using the terminology that is reserved unto Yah Himself, the Tetragrammaton, the I Am, and you do it throughout your culture, and it is a heresy. And He's looking at you, and has looked at you, and this is what you've been saying for almost. I would probably say uh, uh, a century. That sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. There's no other country like the U.S. I shall not sit as a widow. Now I want you to know this exact same verse is in the book of Revelation, the two chapters. It is identical. Why? Because that's another reason why your Laodicea and Arab pastors have taught you incorrectly. The Old Testament is not done away with. It corroborates. Yeshua said, think not that I came to destroy the law. Hey, he said, I came to fulfill the law. Fulfill means a different thing. The, there are parts of the law that were fulfilled, such as the animal sacrifice. But then you will find him even in the New Testament. He was telling a man to, to obey the law. Because the law is good. It's just that it could not save or erase sin in the animal sacrifice because the sins of mankind were growing too much from year to year. So let's go back. He's saying, so again, this is another one of the reasons for your judgment. Why? Your pride. See, you didn't hear this from the lay on the scene. Pride. You were very proudful. Mystery Babylon US, pride goeth before destruction. Yes, Lord. And a haughty spirit before a fall. You about to take a fall. A haughty spirit. The Lord hates pride because that was the first sin that was committed by Luther. And you were full of it. You say in my special, you full of it. That's what you is. You full of it. And again, he's saying, Thou sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Not realizing, yes, that you were the most blessed nation for a reason. He called you as your founders, and I and I and I have done. You better go back and listen to those messages. All that I did, I, I came light of just as the Lord laid it out. I was painting a mosaic for you. I was showing you in the very beginning, Mystery Babylon, about your foundation. You see, now they're broken. They're broken now. They're broken now. So this is what you, but, but you are Samson. You in the same situation right now with Samson. Delilah's already cut your braid. So here it is. You sit, thou sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow. In other words, I'm no, we're not, we're not going to lose a war. Neither shall I know the loss of children. 
That's why I've been warning you. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times since I came here. So y'all said the next judgment, everybody died. Old, young, babies, children, if because that's the only thing gonna wake you up. It's sad. 9-11 should have been enough. So those of you that attended any of my Passovers, when we say die, die, yay, do, die, die, yay, do, die, die, yay, do, die, yay, do, die, yay, do, then we say it should have been enough. Just like with the Pharaoh, the king Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Then y'all had to send 10 plagues. If he had just repented and let us go. Every time we said, then we said, it should have been enough. That's what I'm saying to you. That he's saying to you right now, Mr. Miller, it should have been enough. But no, you harden your heart and say, I sit as a queen. You say, I am. And there's none else beside me. And I shall not sit as a widow. So the very thing that you declare is coming to your door. Because of your pride. And most importantly, because you have not repented. And you show no mercy. Now verse 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment. In one day. See that I tell you? For one and for two, for three and for four, for one and for two, for three and for four, your judgment, your judgment, Babylon, is at the door. And it will come in two, because in the Hebrew law, nothing is established except by the witness of two. And notice here, y'all are saying the same thing. On the day of your judgment, it will be multiple judgments for thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children. And widowhood, that means the men, the men at war. Unfortunately, that's very sad. Myself coming from a military background. They shall come upon thee in their perfection. So that means that's going to be great. I hope you know the Holy One of Israel, he's perfect. In him is no shadow, no turn. He's all light. So it's going to be an exacting judgment. He says, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For why? Why? So do not say why. Because it might be tomorrow. Don't say, because I if not, I'm gonna come on and do a I will come on and do a message and say, Mother, did, do not say why, girl, why? Well, you there ain't been no repentance. I told you I didn't cry my last tear for you. Even though he still makes me cry. So they shall come upon thee in their perfection. That means they're going to be precise. They're going to be exact. They're going to be a heavy toll. Why? For the multitude. So it's not one, two, three, or four. Multitude of the sorcery. I told you, your God is now Satan, witchcraft. And it's deeper than that. But I'm going to wait and get into that. But that's connected to the corona. Uh-huh. And some of you know what I'm talking about. For the multitude of thy sorceries, that means witchcraft. And for the great abundance, there it is, of thine enchantment. So you are deceiving the people. Now that word there, I might as well go on and break it open. The root of that word means pharmakia. It's where you get pharmacy. In other words, the Lord is not happy. It means your pharmaceutical drug use uh, industry in this nation. And God considers it witchcraft because it don't heal. And many times does more harm than good. After you listen to all the side effects, the Lord considers that enchantment. Not even to mention what is being proposed, what has been or not being has already been sent out at this moment and still being propagated. The Lord said it's sorcery. I'm reading the word. He's not happy about it. It's a multitude of that sorcery. 
of your pharmaceutical drug exportation. That's all in deceit. And for the great abundance of thy enchantment. Go on now to verse 10. I can, I'll be bringing that more when we get to that chapter. But thou is trusted. I told you, Mr. Babylon, you is, you're not, you're not, you wicked. Here's the Lord telling you that. Thou is trusted in thy wickedness. Thou has said, none seeth me. <laughs> you thought because Yah was long suffering that you were getting away with it. But see, that's the goodness of God. That is the goodness of Yah. That was have been drawing men to repentance. We draw men to repentance every day. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. Now, the mama of them been told you that, because I'm a professor. He's made me a teacher. By gifting and teaching, glory to God. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, there it is again, my Lord. Is this the third or fourth time? See, you are full, you are full of it, Mr. Babylon USA. You are full of pride. He's saying it again. One more again, Yah is saying. Unto you, Mr. Babylon. Thou hast said in thine heart, I am. There it is again. You saying you are God. You are saying you are Yah. You are saying you are the Holy One of Israel. And he don't take that lightly because he holy and he said you wicked. So you applied his name, the all existent, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipotent. He's called the self-existing one. I am the tetragrammaton. Yah, your head bob, yet you are calling yourself that. And you thought that nobody saw you. You thought that he didn't hear you. You thought you were going to get away. She, no, there's not enough time for me to teach and preach. What this generation really needed for the end time. See, there's coming a day in this next dispensation that's coming. See, soon you no longer. The, the separation really has already been made with Yah's people. But soon you will no longer profane. That's calling profaning the name of the Most High. Of the Holy One of Israel because he's holy. See, this is a generation of disrespect. That's why your judgment, that's one of the reasons, again, why your judgment going to be so severe. Very disrespectful. It grieves my spirit every day of this millennial church. The total disrespect they have. Total. And that's what you did with this thing. So the Lord said in this next time dispensation that's getting ready to kick off. He said, I'm going to make sure get in the judgments that he's about to send to you that you no longer go profane his holy name. You no longer going to use his name in English Jesus as a cuss word. You no longer going to take his name, the I am, the tetragrammaton, the, uh, the self-existing one, and say that you are. Because this apostle here has been charged with bringing the fear of Yah back to this generation. And he said he's going to do it himself coming up next in this tribulation period. You're going to be afraid to say the name. You're going to tremble at his name. We should have already been taught. What's taught in my generation. But you're going to have to learn it the hard way. Mama done told you. You get ready to take the test. Because you ain't even trying to repent. 
It is what it is. And he has said that four times. He's taking offense in that. Hey, Robo Siabaye. Because his name is Hope. His name is holy. Therefore, now verse 11. 11 in the Hebrew means judgment. That's why, look, the enemies know more of the Bible Hebraically than you do ignorant Laodicean era Western Gentile church. That's why they attacked on 9-11. I'm just throwing that out there because they knew that the number 11 means judgment and the two towers represented they that is the number 11 so that's why it was on that day and y'all allowed that to try to wake you up back then now look now look at all this time and look at how you've fallen from then to now can't even recognize you now verse 11 therefore therefore Again, when I was in a university, your professor would always say, why therefore, well, you must look, wherefore, why, wherefore is the therefore there? That's why I'm here. That's one of the reasons y'all raised me up to this generation. He said, teach it to them. But not just teach it, glory to God, I explain it and decree it with power, apostolic power and authority. Therefore, Shall evil come upon thee? Because you wicked, Mystery Babylon US. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. See, I told you, it's going to slap you. It's going to smack you in your face. It's a sneak attack. I already didn't see it. And if you better listen to those, you better go back and listen to my messages from Deuteronomy and Demetri. You better, because it's all in that prophecy. You shall not know from whence it rises. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. So you're not going to have the victory. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. See, and suddenly is coming. Which thou shalt not know. So that, that whole verse right there, the Lord's letting you know, your judgment's all going to be a sneak attack. They're going to be a sneak attack. And you're not going to know why. Because you're not woke. Neither the spiritual nor the secular. You're not woke. You're comatose. So it's going to come upon you. And suddenly. Verse 12. Stand now. With thy enchantment. Now he's going to bring it to you. Now he's going to be facetious. Uh huh. You've been pro pro profaning. The Holy One of Israel's name, the Tetragrammaton. Yeah. Our God, the God of the covenant. So now, he get ready to speak to you. Just like Elijah spoke to Jezebel and her 400 false prophets. Because I've been told you, Gordy God, Mary Gordy God, when I came here, America, I pointed out your false God. So now, on the day of your judgment, the Lord putting it back up in your face. Here it is. He bringing it now to you. He said, stand now with thine enchantment and with the multitude, there it is, of thy sorcery. You say you trust the science. He said, okay, stand with that because he know he say it's witchcraft. So he got something for you that's coming. He said, you put all this in my face before me, Mystery Babylon US. Stand now with thine enchantment and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, if so be, thou mayest prevail. <laughs> But well, we already know you're not going to prevail. He said, if so. Because it's already decreed. He's being facetious there. Let's go to verse 13. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsel. 
That means you got a lot of you got a lot of people. We had to, used to have a saying back in the day of my baby boomer generation in the culture and the Hebrew culture said talking loud used to be a song amongst the Hebrew people back in my day said talking talking loud but saying nothing uh saying nothing uh saying nothing uh that's what you got this is what you is saying to you right now Mr. Babylon you have thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel let now hey yes lord yes lord let now the astrologers the sun, they all we can see that's why he had me to bring up the parallel of elijah with jezebel and her 400 false prophets right here he said let now your astrologers see your god is satan that's who you regard. You no longer regard, you kicked him out. So everything you point to, your karma and all that, that's all part of Satanism. All part of Satanism. Let now the astrologers, not how I bring it, which is Hebraic Maserot astronomy, God's astronomy. No, the other side of it, the zodiac, that is satanic. That comes from the devil's side. Let now your Astro your astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. That's the same thing. See, have I not heard, mm, have I not heard this before? Oh yeah. <laughs> and the Lord said. <laughs> He said, call upon them. See, they can give you an answer. And these things I'm getting ready to send. He said, call upon them. Elijah said, he said, cry out louder. He said, they're not answering. Go on. <laughs> and then Jezebel, priests started cutting themselves. Glory to God. Bloodletting. But they didn't answer because y'all wouldn't let them say a word. Not a mumbling word. And this is here he said again. See, everything. Let, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes right now. Everything that has happened shall happen again. See, we are, we are at the ending of a cycle now. Everything's coming full circle. So the things that have been done are the things that shall be done. See, it's time for come up, it's time. So he said, now. See, he's laying bare. He's about to lay bare your legs and open your because you've been a whore mystery babylon you and he said now call he said these these people so in other words he's saying to you let me give you a better understanding these councils that are satanic that are false he said now call upon them so in other words you were in the bed with them with the your astrologers all demonic sources your stargazers your astrologers your monthly pronosticator, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So he said, so you've been in the bed with them? Let them see if they can deliver you from what I'm about to serve up to you. And then the next is the name of glory God he gave me of, of this ministry. Now verse 14. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. See, uh, it's important that you know. I think I've told you that uh, your major judgment, Bishop Babylon, is going to be fire. So we're going to be getting into that. I'm leaving that for last, that chapter. But because we're so close and because you, because of what you're doing and you're just trying to speed up your judgment, I'm having to bring it in case it happens tomorrow. We don't get a little bit more grace from the dragon country. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. So as I said, glory to God, Yah is sending a fire that no fire truck can quench Mystery Babylon U.S. Now, this is why this is very important that you listen to hit my, that message on Henry Gruber and Dudum and Dimitri, because that was the words of the prophecy. That is what they're Y'all totally gave them that's going to be your end 35 
years ago if you would not repent. You will end in fire. But you had time to repent. So here is the Lord bringing it again. He's bringing, he's serving it up. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. So it's talking about a certain kind of fire, and we know what type of fire. That's a nuclear fire. That's what's being that's what's being threatened right now. That's what New York City just had television ads on last week. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander everyone to his quarter, and not one, say none, shall save thee. And this is corroborated. With another chapter. May the Lord add a blessing to the proclamation and revelation and declaration of his end time word to Mystery Babylon US. So let it be said, so let it be recorded this day from this end time watchman and apostle. So let it be. To a wicked and stiff necked people who refuse to repent. You refuse to repent. Bless the Lord, Minister Kim. You refuse to repent. I'm making a declaration tonight. by the most high. And I want to get back to my other call, calling my people. But see, your wickedness, it's your pride, America. And the pride of your leaders. So see, it's very important about spiritual principles. That's just one chapter. I got three more chapters. That the Lord has prepared me for 25 years to show you who you are. That your Laodicean era pastors were too scared to tell you to for losing members. But see, now it's at the door. It could start tomorrow. Everybody in Mystery Babylon USA, oh yes, I'm going to go and update this description. You need to be on your knees tonight. You need to be praying. That the, your wicked government does not make a faulty error mistake and try to take that plane off tomorrow. Because it's on lockdown. By the dragon country. It's on lockdown. So I had to come. Because your judgments are being sped up because of your pride. See, the Lord hates pride, Mystery Babylon U.S. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. There are, these are the things that have not been taught to you in this Laodicean earth. This is why the Lord told you to come out, to come out. My people come out, the, even the Gentiles. Come out if that was, if that was your church. Because they are fall day when they're doing that. Now it's time for the judgment at the door. You're not prepared. He said, and of course to my people, he said, come ye out from amongst them and be separate, saith the Lord of hosts. But everyone, and of course they're sleeping. See, just like the Lord said, you're going to get caught. And, I, and, I, and you know, I'm a prophet that. And when it comes time for your full blown judgment, it's coming at night. You're going to be asleep. Why? Because you've been sleeping the whole time. Hey, that's why Yeshua said, sleep off. That's what he's even said to his disciples. He said, could you not watch with me a few hours? That's why I, that's why I always, the Yah has wired me. I can't even come on during the day because it's not the day in the Hebrew. Right now is the day. And 
and you're going to get caught in the Hebraic day, which is at night, somewhere between 12 and 6 in the morning. Yes, you is. When the full judgment hit. Because you've been taught incorrectly. Very dire. Very dire night. Very dire night tonight. And it's just like the time, again, while Rome burned Nero Philip. Same situation right now with you, Mystery Babylon U.S. You better pray that whoever is in charge of that airplane will pull out, that they stay put. And I and I, I I'm gonna pin that that news article. I don't I can't even remember how long they're gonna do their drills tomorrow. And she just go on and take her vacation there in time being this, uh, you know. And it was done on purpose. Because they warned this not to come. And see, this is why the Lord, he just pushed me, Gordy. He said, for your arrogance. So you are aware, you are unaware. Yes, Lord. He wants me to bring this point to you as I close. You have gotten the type of leaders. This wicked millennial generation. He, the, there's a word that says, like sheep, like people. Like people, like sheep. So because of your arrogance. I said this is a very disrespectful generation. You wouldn't make it back home. Mm -mm. In Jesus' day, if the children were disrespectful, do you not know the Old Testament laws that they were put in the city uh, court area and were stoned to death? Stoned to death. <laughs> That's just for children being disrespectful. And look at where you are. I, 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 the next one will be Jeremiah because there's another acronym for you. You are called the hammer of the whole earth. See, you being a hammer, but you are uh, totally unaware that you are Samson right now and Delilah done already had you in her barber chair. That's where you is right now, Mystery Babylon, U.S. And just like Samson, the enemy gonna come in the door, but see, the dragon country ain't playing. You better back down. They're not playing. They already gave you a little bit of grace. And he got up just like the old thinking, yes, God had given him supernatural strength and found out it was gone. Now, all of these are prophecies that your Laodicean powder puff false Gentile churches never shared with you. The holy prophets of the Lord that started for you to warn you. Deuteronomy and Dimitri and Henry Gruber. Because this is their prophecy that could be starting to come to pass tomorrow. Just a part of it. And it's more than that. And some other prophets that are even here on YouTube. Talking about the aircraft carrier. That very one is in the Strait of Taiwan right now. The very same one. Been prophesied for at least a year. See, we are called to keep the words of these sayings. You know, I can't bring everything here, but I do give it to my body. But now it's dire. It's dire. This is a dire night. You need to be up all night long, Mystery Babylon U.S. saying, Lord, please. Because he done laid it out for you. Notice it's in your face. And notice if he said multitude of sin. And he laid them out. So if it is tomorrow, don't come weeping. Don't don't say, don't say, are you gonna stay up all night on your knees? I done been done. I'm already up. I'm with every time I come, by the time I finish, being up in the Holy Ghost. And usually the sun is up before I can even get in the bed. No, but it's just like it's when I can tell you the answer is no. Because Nero fiddled while Rome burned. And that is what the church has been doing. And the secular, you, Mystery Babylon, that's what you've been doing. 
you say, I sin as a queen. I will be no widow. But what did the Lord say? I say unto you, he said, verily, these two things going to come upon you. So when it starts, it's going to be two judges. And it can be, it can start tomorrow. One supposed to, but what mama been telling you, glory to God, with all of the Hebrew, and I, and I got, maybe tomorrow, I got to bring the Hebrew Maserot side. Incredible. New science. That's another reason I'm, that I didn't even know existed. And I'm going to give him this kudos, this ministry. Lord sent it right to me. Whole nother set of the Hebrew Maserot signs that I didn't even know existed. Absolutely incredible. Oh, yes, pointing towards the raptures, but not the raptures that you have been taught, Mystery Babylon U.S. There are others. There is more than one. There are some others that are about to happen. So he that has an ear, let him hear. I pray that the spirit of travail and the spirit, if you are American Gentile here, I pray that that spirit of repentance will fall upon you. Because it is you that needs to repent of these sins. As I've stated before, as I have begun my Hebrew in my call, we are the Hebrew Israelites. We are the tribe of Judah. Every A, A America. I got to speak in code now. That's why they mess with that video. They're so ignorant. That validated every word that I said. And I'm not, you know, Lord, you got no mega ministry. So why mess with me? Why, you know, why? Because I, as an apostle, I bring the truth. And I don't just bring it. I bring it with authority and with power from on high. I'm not just teaching, I'm declaring. So there are things that you need to stand in the gap and repent, just like, as I said, Pastor John MacArthur. He's the first Gentile pastor that I saw that is speaking the truth to the people of Mystery Babylon U.S. at this time. And he did say the judgment cannot be stopped. And he is, he is correct. The only thing you need to be up can be changed is the severity and the protection of you, your family, maybe your neighborhood. And you really need to repent with weeping. See, I've done that. When the Lord showed me who you were, Mr. Babylon, that was before I even knew, even though the Lord did tell me 25 years ago that I was from the house of Israel. And I didn't understand why it's taken 20. He that did not give me all the pieces just within these past, some of them just within the past month. But it started six months ago. Why? Because the set time is now here. Everything is going to come into culmination, beloved. Everything. And he will be returning for us. We are the people of the book and the people of the covenant. But it's extremely important. And then, so I'm saying this because then he put the spirit of travail upon me for you. Mystery Babylon, U.S. India, because I said, they can't see. I said, Lord, they can't see. And I just wept. I wept a biblical cry. I can't even make that sound. I mean, my mouth, the sound came, a wail. All I can say, that's a wail. Only the Holy Ghost. This is what you need to do. If you won't, Mystery Babylon, U.S., I'm talking about, I don't care whether you are saved or not saved. If you if your eyes are woke now, this is what you need to do tonight. And I cried and cried and cried for you. And I didn't know then what I, but I knew destruction. And now it's so much even more. And, and it's more than what I'm telling you. But by the time I finish it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you all. But notice he said tonight, you're going to be burned with fire. In the fire, you're not going to be able to put it out. Now, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Ghost. There's one principle, because this is why the apostles, I thank God that we're coming on the scene of this hour, because there are principles that were not taught to you in the Western church, which is why you need it, because so that you can understand the type of judgment that you are receiving and the severity of the judgment that you are about to receive, Mystery Babylon U.S. And one of the reasons why you are receiving fire, it is directly related to the types of sins that you have done. 
and exactly what I just read to you tonight, that you were totally unbeknownst to you. Certain sins, beloved, cannot, that's why the, the pastor John MacArthur was correct, even though he doesn't know this part. But he, at least he said what the revelation that, you know, that Yah had told him. So I'm bringing the other part so that you can get a good understanding. Because I don't want to hear. If you say it, I'm going to come on the next day and the whole message going to say, don't say why, God, why. Because I've been here for two years telling you this is coming. Even in the last lecture, I said you chose a path of destruction. You better chart all the titles of my messages. For they surely are coming to pass and can come to a head. This night, should you not get any, but it, it's already, by this fall, it's coming to a head. So getting back to spiritual principles, which you have not been taught at all to this Western Gentile church, so that you can understand the type and the severity of judgments that you are receiving. And it's directly correlated and related to the sins, the grievous sins, what the Yah just said. I didn't say, the Most High just said, that it's directly related to your sins. So if you know the Torah, the Bible at all, will put you in remembrance, what, when did you see fire judgment? What type of sin was going on? I'm asking you the question. What type of sins were going on when you saw fire judgment? In the Bible. Because notice Yah is saying. You going to get a fire. That cannot be put out. Thank you Minister Kim. That's right. Sexual sin. Called sexual perversion. The sins of Sodom and Gomorrah. Those sins cannot when they reach let me bring this apostolic teaching this is a teaching right now and it is a spiritual principle that type of sin when it reaches a certain level and there are not enough righteous in the city for the land to stand that's why the angels came down from heaven and said, God, get ready to burn it right now. But he's long suffering. That's why Lot, they came in to get Lot. That's why I'm telling you, Yah is coming to get us. Those that are saved. You better hear me, my, my people. For the righteous. So there are certain sins that cannot be prayed away because of the level of demonic activity that you are unaware with, unaware of that's attached to that sin. So when you see that sin, there is high level demonic activity that is connected with that. And they are in the land. So you can't just pray that demon because now they're in a, what, what did I just read to you tonight? They're in a multitude because you gave them the right. You changed the law. So don't say to Yah, why, Yah, why? Why? Don't say. That's why he put me here. It's time to get a good understanding because you, mama telling you tonight, he made me bring it. You about to take the test and it's before time. I'm upset because we prayed he was showing us with the Hebrew Mazaro and he's an answer up to the fall. I will be up asking for that because there's prophecy that's got to be fulfilled concerning us. And it's not finished yet. So that particular sin, which is rampant, and we have promulgated it around the world. Around the world. So notice Yah says 
It is a fire that cannot be put out nor quenched. And he said, no one can come to your help. Now, that's why you got to listen to their prophecy. Also, David Wilkerson, whom they kill, whom you killed. He died early. You see, the real prophet. And you need to listen to his message. I see a thousand fires burning in New York City. See, mama going to give you some information now. All of these words should have been coming forth from your Gentile pulpit. See, they were wait, and he, God sent that great prophet in the 70s. Now, he called me early 90s. And I said, Lord, they can't, and I'm just releasing it now. That man, great prophet, released all those words. Of course, they, they were like burning him, you know. They, they, he was a piranha. Why did y'all do that? He sent him way before the time of your judgment, 1975. So I start with him, and I have him too pinned in my playlist. All the way to now, look at how much time you have had, Mystery Babylon, U.S. Many of you weren't even alive. So this is why I'm saying to you, this millennial generation, the Lord Yah, the Holy One of Israel, has been warning you for a long time. A very long time. So he said, and mama been telling you, you're going to get the smack down. WW, whether you know it's a WW or whatever. You get ready to get the W smack down. But he sent these holy men of God to put you on, but you did not regard. So now, my message is to just show you why. Because it cannot be stopped now. But you do need to be up. And I will be praying. Because now for my people. For this. That he's given me all the pieces. Because there is prophecy. That must be fulfilled. But you need to understand. The Lord want me to explain that to you. That the severity of your judgments. Are directly related to the types of sins that you have done that you are unaware of that require, require a certain type of payment. And your sexual promiscuity requires a fire judgment that cannot be prayed away. So that's why those areas over there in the West and all of that where the headquarters is, that's why you ain't got no water. I got another article that came yesterday saying that part of the country has 50 days left for war. Are you seeing that on your primetime evening news? I just got it yesterday. See, you comatose. Your judgment has now begun. That's why I'm here. So for the rest of the time now, that's all that's left now for you, Mr. Babylon, is to explain to you from this house. Is to show you why. Why? Because there is a courtroom in the Hebrew heaven. That's right. There's a courtroom. He raised me up because I'm the one that's one of the ones giving you the evidence. So this evidence will come up before you. That's why I, I have always read to you, and I may end it, this message. Get ready to end it in Ezekiel. So whether you hear this word, or whether you reject this word. The same word. Same word. The same word is going to judge you in the day of judgment. That is no longer coming, Mr. Babylon. That's why he pressed and pushed me on here tonight. It's at hand. You now in it. And you need to pray. This is the other thing. For your leader. That are a kuna matata and full of pride. And you better pray that they don't try to take off that plane tomorrow. Oh, it's going down. Let me make that prophecy right now. Because they done already said they're going to be, what did he say? Should I play that again? Maybe that. Maybe, maybe I need to, I, maybe that's just what I need to do. So that you can hear 
what the dragon country said. Stephanie Thompson. And Randy I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you hear it because obviously, for a reason, you are not hearing this news. And the title of this message saying tomorrow could be the most dangerous day of the century. Do you hear me? Tomorrow, manana, the mess could be the most dangerous. Why? Because World War Three could kick off tomorrow. And that's another one. That's not even the not in, that's not even the one that I let you hear. There are a few woke, real news media tomorrow. Yet we're at a Nero and Rome moment. We're at a historical history in human mankind for you, Mystery Babylon U.S. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. The church, the Colatos church, the Laodicean church of you, Mr. Babylon, slept while it could burn tomorrow. Instead of being on your knees, calling everyone. So I'm here to show you your sin. This message should go to every, but will it? No. We're at a moment, we're at a Bay of Pigs moment. Thank God for my generation, for the people then were still have moral values. See, that's why it's very grave now, because now you have leaders that are like you. See, that's what God gives you. See, this is what has happened, that you, because you are now in sexual depravity. And when you get to that, I need to teach that to you. What the Lord, this is in the New Testament. He says, I turn you over. So you are now turned over. With wicked leaders, they're just like you. So you better be praying. Mm-hmm. If he doesn't let us know, since I've been coming, I've been doing a whole lot of study, a whole lot been going down these 30 days because that message, that last message is very important. Notice again, he mentioned it in your judgment. Mm-hmm. But you see that you are being judged for one and for two, for lot more, lot more, lot more at the door. Lot more than one, than two, and three, and four. Lot more, lot more, lot more at the door. For you, Mystery Babylon, it is at the door. More than a just about us. But you need to be praying that that plane don't take off. Because I know the Dragon Country ain't got much grace. I'm surprised they, they're showing the grace that right now. They told her, don't come. We are Kuna Matai. And we are Samson. That's about to get up when the Philistines entered the room. And Samson didn't know. He just had gotten up from the barber chair of the line. In his bed. See, that's where you've been, Mystery Babylon. In the bed with your order. Notice what Yah said to you tonight. He said, Call upon them and see now if they're going to deliver you since you changed my law, since you threw me out of school. Call upon them. I'm telling you tonight, decreeing unto you tonight, as an end time watchman apostle, you need to call upon him. For yourself. You need to call upon him for your family, for your neighborhood. You need to plead the blood. I hope you've been taught how to do that. You need to weep and howl and wail. I done done it. I'm not doing it no more. Yeah, I have a new assignment. But he made me come back to you, Mr. Babylon USA. Yeah, coming for us. We the people of the Bible. Yeah, told me himself. 25 years ago. And now he gave me 
everything I needed to know. But now your day is coming up. Coming up faster than it needs to come up, Mystery Babylon. The Yahweh showing you how your judgment is coming in the fall. Should not be coming now. But there are other prophecies that you are not aware of that are out about you. And you can make a wrong decision that Yah has said that can and it is speeding things up. Yes, Lord. Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord. So many things went down today. Can I pull that up? Do you not know? The scientists. Let me see if I can pull this up. See, beloved, this is why I'm not on. So many things are going down. Let me see if I can pull it for myself. Anyway, I just got a clip. I wanted to show it to you. The scientists, this was today. Today on the news, they just got a startling. The earth is now spinning very fast on its axis. And I started to laugh. And they don't know why. Of course they don't know why because they're godless men. That's why the Lord says at the end, you need to take hold, what, of the two seat of a Hebrew at the end. Because I'm showing you the way. So at the very end, so now he already spoke another word this past weekend and already got concerning this. So now, all of a sudden, which is why this thing might be going down, if, if you better pray that your leaders don't make that decision tomorrow. They're saying the earth is now turning too fast on its axis. What's going on? Let me give you the scripture so that you can understand what's going on. Y'all already told us he was going to do that. He said, except those days should be shortened. No flesh will be saved. Except those days be shortened. No flesh will be saved so in the end time the lord the days are shorter this is how we know we, we look all my words my timeline is right on what i prophesied to you for this fall it's, it's dead on I hate to say that because it could be many dead tomorrow but it's dead on so what you see now happening the Lord says, glory to God, I'm going to make a quick end and a quick work of it. So he's sure, he said, those days have to be shortened. And they are really up in arms about it because it's affecting all the computers and all this. And they're talking about, you know, there is the big clock. And I mean, they are, they are up in arms over it. But they don't understand what tomorrow might bring. Why is all this happening on the eve? We have Bay of Pigs. All the way back when I was a child in 1960. Tonight. Tonight. Should be all over. Every church should have called a vigil. But no. See. It's the Nero Laodicean church. Nero fiddle while Rome burned. Because she's comatose. That's why I almost don't even want to say anything to you in a moment, Mr. Babylon, because you, because your judgment's on the way. But he made me come. He's going to make me finish what I started. So I'm going to finish because you are now expediting your judgment. You're expediting it by your pride and all the other things with that, which I mentioned tonight and then the types of sin. So. The types of judgments that you are receiving are directly in correlation to the type of sin that is in great multitude in the land. That's why even Pastor John MacArthur said it cannot, no, it cannot be stopped. But when we started on here and when those prophets, it could have been then. So don't say why. And I've been here well, since Corona saying two years. 
and it could have been changed. But now it's too late. So you, that's what he said. He said, pray for yourself. That's where you are. It is what it is. We're at the culmination of, of mankind's history. It's called the reign of the Gentile. I'll be getting into that of the Hebrew. And, and they're destroyed, seeking to destroy the earth. We are not that kind of people. You better be following me. And I will be speaking in a whole lot of code coming up here pretty soon. So that is why that is coming and the Lord mentioned fire. For the multitude and notice he calls you a whore. So that's sexual sin. And then he listed all the other sins. And those things, what you don't know because you're, you're a churches. Or not in the spirit realm. Those are all connected to demonic activity. And what you don't understand is that demons get into the land. My last apostolic teaching on this portion right here to you. They get into the land. That's why Pastor John MacArthur said, no, they can't be prayed away. And so I'm giving you the under, I'm giving you the teaching right now why they can't. The only thing to get those demons out. Well, that's why the Lord had to destroy. So he had to send fire. It was fire from heaven. The demons are in the earth. Those sexual demons. Because there weren't enough righteous. That's what's coming. I told you, Akuna Matata. You better go back and listen. You better re-listen to all my messages. And then hopefully you can wail. And you need to cry bucket. Y'all need to see you doing that. I've already done it for you. I've done it for you. I'm now here for you, Mr. Babylon, just to give you the explanation. Because now I've got it too. And I'm, and I'm going to finish up with the sign. Unless you tell me, and then I'm going, and then I have to finish my email call. And it's for, you know, I wasn't even going to come back anymore. Because your judgment now is at the door. It could be tomorrow. It should not be. But I will be interceding for you. The only because. I've been here 25 years. As a, a, a glory to God. Grandmother now. Bringing this message. As a Noah. And there's been no change. Like I told you. See. As I came. I, you know. All my prophecies are revealed. The Lord. He told me 25 years ago. You would not repent. But did I keep on preaching 25 years? Yes, I did. Because a lot of people got saved. But it's very sad. I'm a real no, and there was no change. Not like these prophesying, prophet lying prophets. That are whores and whores following. Yes. And judgment is it. Let me just say. And with this, judgment is about to begin in the house of the Lord. So you better, you better, you better give this to you know any any pastors. If you slipping and slipping and die sliding and gliding, you better be very afraid. You better be very afraid because judgment, get, just like it's getting ready to hit the U.S., it's getting ready to hit the house of God in Mystery Babylon, U.S. And really, it has begun, but it's going to hit in a very large way because you are responsible. Because your pulpits were not on fire with righteousness, but with soft words. Then there could have been no blood required on your hands. But now the blood shall be required on your hand from these churches and these pulpits. And I'm going to end with the watchman, my disclaimer, which is why we are here, which is why the Most High has called us, because he's called us as watchmen, coming from Ezekiel 33, verse 6. But if the watchman see the sword come, the sword, I just go back. I couldn't pull it back up again. That was another, that was another broadcast, news, news broadcast saying to you about tonight. Lord have mercy. Nero, America, Finland. He said tonight could be the most, it certainly shall, can't, could be the most dangerous night in a century. You better pray that that plane stay on the ground till the dragon nation finish their lie. Notice they said lie. Live ammo, etc. 
exercises all around that island. You want to go there so bad? Then kick back and take your vacation. I let you listen to it. You better back that thing up. You so busy, this wicked generation twerking. You better back it up. That's another reason why your judgment comes. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, that's why I'm preaching so hard. And the people be not warned. I am warning you. All the others that I pinned, they were warning you. It could have been a different outcome. We still warning you, albeit now for the saving of your life, your family, your friends, your relatives, y'all say pray. Be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. No blood. On this historic night, on this historic night in Mystery Babylon, U.S., no blood is required from this watchman's house. As we have done, Father, to the best of our ability, since you commanded me to come on this platform to warn the people. And I thank you, y'all, that even though we, we have, and even the number of subscribers we have, that's a prophetic number. <laughs> yes, Lord. We have 42 subscribers. But thousands, do you hear me in two years? Thousands have listened to us. Thousands. And Jesus, you know him as Jesus, Yeshua came in the 42nd generation. May the Lord add a blessing to the proclamation of his word and coming judgment. That all that hear this message tonight fall on your knees and repent for real. And you go and listen to my, I have my two repentance messages. You better do it tonight. And I'm going to decree, may the spirit of travail and wail come upon you. That you would receive that spirit to repent for your wickedness, Mystery Babylon, U.S. Now, I'm going to stand in the gap for my people because, as I said, I, I, I'm, I'm through. Because I have cried for you for so many years, Mr. Babylon, and there has been no change. But yet I still will obey the Father. He continues to have us, even though there's a break for when I come on. I'm not like these millennials. When I come, that's why it's one for two, for three or for four. Glory to God. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not out the door. All my messages are always two hours long. Usually more than that. But he came in that 42nd generation. But thousands have heard, but you need to fall to your knees and you need to repent for real. Because just as all of this is kicking off, the first rapture, which is a break, is also going to kick off. And the most high, the Holy One of Israel, is returning. Yes, there's one for the church, but he's also returning for his people. For we have an everlasting covenant with Yah. She, America, that's what wasn't taught to you. So much wasn't taught to you. I feel so sorry. I did teach it to you. You better go back and listen to those messages about your nation. See, your founding fathers made a covenant with you, with our God. And see, your first president made a prophecy over the nation, which you all are also oblivious to. That said, that sealed the nail on your coffin if you. Broke covenant with Yah. And that's what you done did. And he would say, all your blessings would be removed. And you would cease to exist. You better go back and listen to the George Washington prophecy. And, and I did bring, listen to those messages. I read to you the covenant of your forefathers of this nation. And that's when Yah, when I came on here, 
That was the whole beginning showing you about your covenant. See, everything, glory to God, that I brought was line upon line. Priest of God, I was bringing apostolic teaching, trying to show you the error of your way, Mystery Babylon, you went. But now it's done. But you need to go and still understand that may help you to travail because you broke it. And then your first father of your nation, George Washington, decreed, he spoke as a prophet and decreed, uh, Lord of God, he, they were so stern over this nation being a Christian nation forever. He said, now, if the people turn, then he already from inception released a judgment upon you that none of you are unaware of. So it's sealed, Mr. Babylon U.S. You don't even know your own history. It's very sad. But I did start with it. But did one, many want to hear that? No. I don't. I, I need to go back and look and see how many have listened to that. Because see, now it's about to come up in your face. But we have an everlasting covenant. And we paid a pretty price. We paid so glory to God. We paid our price. Notice y'all said tonight, we've been here and you didn't show us no mercy for 400 years. But he getting ready to come and see about us now. Because we the people. We his people of the covenant. Even though we care for all people. Because all people come from our Lord. And we are a peace loving people. But it would behoove you. To go back. And to find out. And see from where you have went. You have fallen. Now may Yahweh bless you. May Yah keep you. May Yah make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Yah, who is the Holy One of Israel and Yeshua, his son, lift up his countenance upon you and keep you in total peace and protection if you are washed in the blood, but bought, redeemed, and living holy. For a thousand shall fall at one side. Ten thousand will fall at your right side. But it shall not, and it will not come nigh your dwelling, as I plead Psalms 91 and the blood over you on this perilous night. For who knows what a day may bring, O oh, your Father, that we may receive. Your people cry out to you. Your people. We are still here in Mystery Babylon, U.S. Lord. Give us time to finish the assignment. As you have shown, you are coming to get your people in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Shalom. And I will be back on this meeting. Let us pray that it does not go down as it is foreboding tonight. Pray. Pray that that plane will not. Take all tomorrow. Shalom.